Is this like a restaurant here? This is our side of our area where we just do the pies and donuts and apple dumplings and all the baked Pies, donuts, oh my gosh. Look how big this place is. Look, there's a whole outside to it too. So here's where you come through the line to buy the uh, donuts. Right. And the fried apple pie. Right. Or we do the baked pie, like a whole baked pie. And the, on the bottom there are apple dumplings. So, uh, and then you guys are baking back there, is that what they do? Uh, actually, it's in a building here next door to us where we're making this. Oh. Yes, we're going, we're going. This place is huge. Oh, you could totally, you, you know what I love? You designed it so everybody could watch. That's right. So they're making the fried apple pies there. So let me see. Let me get on the side real quick because I'm, sure, yeah. I'm getting a lot of shine. Sorry. Uh, uh. So they roll out the dough uh, right. into a, a flat, and cut it into a circle, and then they're spooning in those uh, opaque bowls or yeah. cooked apple mixture. Right. So they spoon that into the middle, right. and then they uh, fold it over and crimp the edge, makes a half moon shape. And then they're put on that wire rack in the middle and deep fried. So, I'm sorry, you said take a peek in the candy shop? The you have candy a candy shop? shop? Yeah, we should have. This is the apple butter kitchen here where we're doing the uh, apple butter. So in these large kettles, they're cooking uh, sorry. apple butter. Yeah. And then they're put into uh, apple butter. Pie, pie and cork jars. And they cook the apple butter right here. Yes. Uh -huh. Nice. So this is the apple. So we saw the, the pastries. And now we're doing the but apple butter. And this whole place, how many apple butters do you do? I'm not really sure. <laughs> I do a lot. I bet, yeah, I, I'm asking questions that you just don't have time to count. You're too busy running the business. Oh, we're going in. Here we go. We're going in. Thank you, sir. All right. This place is huge. So this is the candy shop. We make all the different candies here. Right. Uh, you can see in the front there, they displayed some of the apples. We did uh, hand dip all the candied apples and caramel apples. And those are packaged to where I can take those home, right? Yes, uh -huh, they are. Oh my goodness. And let's go back here and see what they're doing. Oh my goodness. We're going behind the scenes, guys. Behind the scenes. Hello, ladies. Hi, everybody. Hello. How are you? How are you? Thank you for letting us walk through. Uh, you look great. Uh, thank you. Look at all this. Oh, thank you, sir. Good morning. Thank you. Mom, what are you, uh, what are you making here? Uh, this is uh, peanut, uh, dark chocolate peanut clusters. Dark chocolate peanut clusters. Dark chocolate peanut clusters. Mm -hmm. And how many of those will, will that batch make? Uh, I may take two pots like this right to make a box oh wow to make a whole box nice mm -hmm. looks beautiful and that's on a, that's going through a cooling time that's what this is right it comes out the other end and the chocolate's set up right and then it's ready to go right ready to go that's right yep. wow and what are we doing here that's a good question guys what are we doing Making biscuits. Oh, you're making like biscuits. biscuits. <laughs> no, no, this is bonbons. Bonbons. Oh, they're bonbons? This is the center for the center of bonbons. We make a dark chocolate bonbons. Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. We just run dark chocolate ones this morning. We're going to run those in milk. Okay. So this is made out of what? Uh, coconut, coconut paste. It's what? Coconut, coconut, coconut paste. paste. Oh, okay. So they're coconut bonbons. And we make yeah, a yeah. Uh, coconut patty also in the difference right. between the patty and the bonbon, the patty has shredded coconut work through it. Nice. <laughs> you guys are masters. You ha I mean, unbelievable. Nice job. Thank you. Thank, Thank you guys for letting me come peek. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much. And look, everything's here packaged. Look at this. Ready to go. Wow. Those things are huge. Those are the biggest bonbons I've ever seen. Those are like basketballs. Dude, this place. I mean, look at this. Here's look at this place. Here's the. Oh, what is that? Let me see. It's the end product of what they're doing in there. What they're doing in there, right there. This is this is how it, it comes out in the end. The score. Now, where are the bonbons around here? I got those things are huge. Probably back there, they're behind the counter. Paul, did you see how big that was? 
Yeah. Hey, wait, what's in your mouth? Open your mouth. Open your mouth. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> you, got, you didn't take sneak a peek, did you? I don't know. Nothing to say. The very uh, first building, well, the very first building that you come to is the Orvis store, okay. which is, uh, if you're familiar with the Orvis brand outdoor uh, fly fishing equipment, clothing, so forth. Right. And then the first building in the row here is the Applewood Farmhouse Grill, which is a full service restaurant, serves three meals a day. And they change uh, menus from breakfast to lunch and then from lunch to dinner. Uh, the next building is the Christmas and candle shop where they'll pour candles and they've got uh, Christmas decorations and things all year round. The next building here is the winery and they make uh, fruit based wines out of the apple uh, cider to start with but they blend it so there's like an apple raspberry, apple strawberry. Oh apple no, you, you're not making wine are you? Yes. And uh, so there's a tasting bar in there so you can go check that out. The ice cream uh, and bakery is here next to us and that's where we make uh, all the ice cream that we sell here on the property. And there's also an old-fashioned soda fountain in there for people to go, and you can get sundaes and anything ice cream in there. The candy shop we've seen, the uh, cider bar, pie kitchen we've seen, the general store, uh, which is where we sell a lot of the Apple-related products. And then the last building is the original restaurant, the Applewood Farmhouse Restaurant. And it opened in 1986, and it also has a full-service uh, menu, three meals a day and they're open uh, every day. They take reservations only for Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner, mm -hmm. and all other days it's just first come, first serve. They don't do reservations, but... Um, How long's your wait on Thanksgiving? It's a pretty long wait. <laughs> What's the longest you've ever had? Well, I, you know, it's not unusual for there to be a couple hour wait. Of course. To, to eat there. But it's a nice place to spread out, and you can go down on the riverbank, or you can come and walk through the complex here, and there's a paging system set up, so when they're ready for your table, you know, you can go over there. So Brilliant. So I can shop for the two hours that I'm waiting, there or whatever. You while you're waiting to eat. That's it's right. brilliant. This place is huge. I cannot, I cannot say thank you enough, Kevin, for taking us around. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming to see us. Okay, dude, what is this? Blackberry cobbler bread. Blackberry cobbler bread. Which one did you taste? And what is this? Apple walnut bread. Yep. All right. Which one did you try? Both. <laughs> I turn my back for a moment and you're eating. I'm finding it. Okay. How was it? Well, I'll show you. Okay. Show me what you got there. A spongy and moist. Just look at that. You can see the you can see the blackberry in it. Look at this. It's glistening, dude. And it's magical. It's bread and it's glistening. It's magical. I'm gonna show you. Ready? All right, go ahead. Disappeared. Dude, how did you do that? I was inspired by Peyton Manning on the wall back there. <laughs> okay, it's so moist that it's almost sticky. I love bread like this. This is dream bread, okay? It totally crumbles. I mean, it totally falls together. So much moisture in this, so much flavor. You ever eat something that's so good that you feel like it's already Christmas and it's not? That's this. Okay, so here's the, uh, it's called Wonderworks. And I, honestly, I'm not even sure what that means if I say I want the top floor. Um, that is a, that's crazy. It's upside down and, where's the FedEx box? You said there's FedEx box? Oh, there it is, up there. <laughs> it's on the top. I like to see them deliver the mail. So anyway, what are you doing? This is behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, behind nothing. The scenes. Now you're in front of the scenes. Uh -uh, I'm behind the scenes. You're in front. No, this is no scene. Yeah, it's huge hold filming on, hold me. On, hold on. Okay, so we kept looking around town. We're looking for a place to eat dinner. Uh, we're here in Pigeon Forge, and it's a tourist trap. And there's only one good barbecue place called Bennett's. And so we're like, oh, let's see if they have beef ribs. And they do have beef ribs, but they have beef ribs that are um, $21 for three beef ribs. All right, you know what? I know the show pays for my food and all that, but $21 for three ribs, really? So so we kept passing Bennett's, and we tried other places. We looked. Everything looked garbage. TripAdvisory and Google and Yelp also. I don't do Yelp. But Google and TripAdvisory said uh, bad reviews on everything around here. It's just a big tourist trap. And then we saw Bennett's again. We're like, oh my gosh, go to Bennett's. So we're going to Bennett's. I'll show you what the menu looks like. Paul's already in there grabbing a table for us. Uh, and we'll give you our review. We'll review the sauces. We'll review 
probably get some barbecue nachos and some other stuff, but I'm not getting the beef ribs. That's a rip. Maybe I'll do a rack of, I don't know, St. Louis ribs or something. All right, so let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like. They got this big smoker out here, um, out front, just billowing smoke. Uh, not too crowded on the patio. I don't know how it is inside. I haven't been in yet. Uh, but it's, uh, it's called Bennett's Pit Barbecue, and the lady at the ho hotel said, uh, there we go. The lady at the hotel said that uh, it's the best around. So, uh, serving the best barbecue in town for 23 years. Cool. They give credit to the pit masters. Look at that. Roy Haynes and Jared Hall. And, uh, oh, AAA approved. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what it looks like. Oak Fire. Oh, the steakhouses. Oh, they promote other places in town. That's kind of cool. I like that. We almost went to Alamo Steakhouse. Hi. Good. A uh, guy just came in by himself? Yes. All right, cool. Thank you. Thanks, man. What's up, dude? Uh, is this going to work for you? We need something else. Um, I don't know. Do they have half and half? No, it's okay. Can you pull the... Well, does it move? No. It doesn't move at all? Maybe. No. We'll find out in a minute. It doesn't matter. I already got food on my shirt, so... <laughs> okay, so... Uh, can you tell that story again? What happened? So while I got out to get us a table in your parking, right. one of the employees that was standing up the front goes, "That's barbecue sauce. What's that all about?" Right? And then he, he saw goes, the van, right? They saw your van, of course. And then he says, "That's bad for business. I'm gonna go slash his tires." Uh -huh, that's a funny I just joke. kept quiet, you know, because it was just kind of funny. And was, okay, well, point him out, and I'll just pop him one on the way out. Sure, dude. No problem. Let's, let's what do we got here? Oh yeah, there you go. It's called bad server jokes. <laughs> okay, so this is what we got here. Let's take a look at the menu. All right. Best barbecue in the world. Does he know that I own the trademark to the best barbecue sauce ever mm -hmm. taste? That? Yeah, right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Looks good. Those nachos look phenomenal, dude. I'm getting them, dude. Yeah. You can share with me, but I'll, I'm going to order those. Oh, okay. Looks awesome. What do you recommend on here? Oh, man. What are you into? I mean, oh, I'm going to start with the na barbecue nachos, right? Uh, okay. Well, I, it was kind of half and half. Man. So yeah, what's your what's your name again? Aaron Daniel. Aaron Daniel. Palm Springs, California. Palm Springs, California. Here okay, right here. In, Tennessee yeah. Okay. Right now. now talk to me like you were talking a minute ago. Oh, you mean but, how I walk up and I'll uh, ask y'all what kind of stuff y'all want to drink, stuff like. That. <laughs> you yeah, turned it on yeah, good, dude. Play the part around here. Yeah, you playing it? That's great. Yeah. Okay, so how long have you been here? Uh, about two years now. Two years. Okay. Um, cause, uh, I did, uh, I did a few YouTube channels out there, Jack on the Go show. Yeah, yeah, I like the show. And, uh, and I'm just wondering if, uh, we, we did, uh, oh, we did Phil's Barbecue down in San Diego. Okay. You ever been in, uh, Phil's Barbecue down, down south? No, no, I haven't. I haven't been to, uh, you're from Palm Springs, you said? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, beautiful area. It beautiful is. Beautiful area. It is. Awfully rich, though. A little pricey. Yeah, little pricey. exactly. Much better out here. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, so you recommend the, uh, barbecue nachos, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You guys share them, man. That's uh. Yeah, we're gonna start. Gonna we're gonna start to. with the barbecue nachos then, okay. and then I'm just gonna take a look at the, the yeah, menu take here. Time. I'll throw those in. Thank you All very right. much, you man. It. Appreciate it. Okay, so let's take a look here. This is the same menu that's on the internet. If you guys want to pull it up, uh, hickory wing. Oh, they got wings. Uh, two pounds, dude. Two pounds. That's a lot of wings, isn't it? That's a lot of wings. That's more than what we get over at Center Point. I'll bet you anything. And I'm paying $16 at center point for their wings. Deep fried pickles. Nice. How cool was it to hear? Did you hear his accent just go away? Yeah. He goes, oh, it's like California. Yeah, right, man, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. It's like, what funny. happened? Where'd your accent go? <laughs> he had me fooled. He got me. All right, so you got a uh, barbecue pork shoulder. Oh, this is something you thought was really interesting. We're not ordering this. But it's Southwestern hot pepper cheese squares. Looks like it's uh, in a marinara sauce, doesn't it? It does. As a Western chili. It's served on a bed of spicy Southwestern chili. Oh, it's chili? That's on chili. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Sorry, guys. My camera's acting up today. It doesn't want to focus on anything. All right, cool. Everything looks good in the pictures, man. All right, well, I'm kind of glad we pulled in. Let's see what we're going to get. I might go with a full rack. I'm gonna check out that salad bar. Yeah, it looks really good. Really? Oh, the salad know, bar? Yeah, it looks really good. And I know it sounds kind of weird, but I'm gonna go look at it. Alright, go look at it. Look at that. Alright, hold on a minute. I get a shot of that. 
Okay, I'm, you don't mind the light in your face? No. Awesome, you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, blow it off, it's gonna be a little warm. They're, they're okay. They're just okay. Jack's, the burnt ends at Jack's. Yeah. 10,000 times better. Really? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah, and then you get a platter of these, and you're looking at $17.99. So not just okay isn't isn't enough for me. No, no. Okay, so here it is. This is the, uh, sh tell them what we got. These are nachos. What? The way they call them, the Texas barbecue nachos. Uh, barbecue nachos, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay, that is that pulled pork or shredded brisket or? Uh, it looks like pork. Home. Pork? Yeah. All right, looks beautiful. You ready to dig into this? Let's dig it. Top of. Okay, I've already got food on my shirt from lunchtime, so we're just gonna hope it goes ready. Here we go. Mm. 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 That's really good. The cheese is really good. I'm not a big when it's like runny cheese, I don't like it. This is really creamy. The pork's good, perfectly cooked. This is a great plate of nachos right here. So Paul says, hey, because I'm trying all their sauces, right? Paul says, hey, do uh, you want me to film you a review? And I'm like, no, because I usually don't like people's sauces and I, you guys think I'm being biased because I have my own barbecue sauce. So I tried the, the honey one. It's amazing. I tried the puffering pig one over here. It's amazing. I tried the mustard. It's amazing. All three of their sauces are home runs. Unbelievable. So that's like a first that I like all the sauces at one place. This is a first. Barbecue sauce. What is this? We call it our rowdy sauce. It's your house sauce? House sauce. Rowdy sauce. Does it get any better? It doesn't. It, not really. Is yeah, that your favorite? They What's like your... it so much, they, they pretty much put it on everything, even in the beans. Really? So you gentlemen enjoy. Well, thank you. All right. All right, so that's deep fried corn, right? Yep. That is crazy. All right, let me get a shot of this real quick, then we'll pray, okay? This is unbelievable. Let's go over this real quick. Deep fried corn, baked beans. Oh my God, that chicken looks so good. Brisket. And then some clumpy roll, no biggie. Just cornbread. Some ribs and some sausage. All right, now here is the grand finale. Here is the, the four, manly man dish. Four beef ribs. Four? Four. <gasps> you got four, dude. Cornbread, coleslaw, fried corn, just because this stuff just look good. I'm ready, dude. Okay, I'm gonna try the coleslaw first. All right, coleslaw first. We're gonna try a little bit of everything. And give me your opinion. I want to know sweet, sour, vinegar, sweet. creamy, what? Sweet? I definitely taste the sugar. Very good. Yeah? Very it, good. It, it looks different. Something looks darker than most. Um, it's it's blended. Right. There's kale. There, you can see the kale right there. Nice. But it's... Uh, Got a good crunch? Very good. Yes, it does. Okay. And then we go in corn next. Sure. Now the corn, that was your idea to get the corn. Uh, the lady said it was amazing. Everybody says it's amazing. Wow. Wow, what? What's it taste like? That's very good. And it's just something on the outside? I mean, it's deep fried corn. It's just... It's like deep fried in butter. <laughs> what? Serious? It's a mouthgasm, bro. Oh, dude. <laughs> All, right. All right. Okay, you ready for the grand finale here of your plate? Yeah, this let's, is uh, this is what we talked about. <clears throat> no, but we have to point out that finding beef, finding beef ribs in Tennessee is impossible. It's impossible. I mean, the cows here do not have ribs. Right. No, it's crazy. Yeah, we have ribless cows. It's beautiful. Let's take a look at that. All right. Of course, you got the end bone. Doesn't have as much meat as the center. But I'm seeing gobs of meat on your plate. Mm. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I just want you to do me a favor. Just forget it. You just damn soft smiling. Okay. Okay. I just want you to tell me outside. 
the main thing I want to know is, is it worth the money, okay? All right, so I'll, you, yeah, I'll tell you. So we've already gone over everything, but let me just try everything real quick. Let me try the sausage. It's got a great flavor. It's not warm though. It's kind of cold. Maybe because I sat here filming filming Paul's ribs. Um, this is a really good sausage. It's got great smoked flavor. All right, let's try brisket. This is my wife's favorite. And you can see it just falls apart. It just it's crumbling in my hand, but it's so tender. Mm, it's not dry. Wow. I thought it was going to be dry. That's good. All right. Well, look at this. Look at this. Ready? I want you to see this. I just picked it up, and it's just coming right off. Right off the bone. Boom. That's it. That was it. See how easy that was? There we go. Sorry. Whatever they got on that chicken is awesome. Wow. I gotta give Paul some of that. That's really good. Dude, you can try that in a minute. We're okay, gonna last thing. Oh, I have pulled pork too, don't I? Let's right, try the pulled pork. So much going on here. I'm taking a lot of this home. Food is just falling off my fork. Mmm. It's moist, man. It's moist. Everything's really good. All right, so we drove down the street and we're in a, uh, it's called Christmas Place, right? We're in Christmas Place reviewing the barbecue joint that we just got out of. Yes. All right, so uh, give me your feedback, man. Um, I, I can also say, I can't remember the last time I had this experience. Everything from the nacho appetizer to the things on my plate to the things on your plate that I was stealing when you weren't looking. Um, Phenomenal. Everything. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. What's that? You stole my stuff off my plate? No, no. Why would you say that, dude? What? Are you serious? No. But what? <sighs> I didn't steal anything off my plate. All right, fine. Keep going. All right, hang on. Guy acts like I said things. He's getting old. He's hearing things. But anyways, um, I can't remember the last time I had an experience where everything met and exceeded my <laughs> expectations. <laughs> um, excellent place. Um, Bennett's, what was the name of it? Bennett's Barbecue. Bennett's, Bennett's yes, Barbecue. Bennett's. I almost call it Benny Hans. I don't know why. But anyway, phenomenal. Bennett's and Pigeon Fork. Whew, I'll be back. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. 23 years of business, and it's been amazing all 23 years, I'm sure. It's the only place, barbecue place I've ever been to that every sauce they had on the table, I loved. I loved every sauce. The mustard, the sweet, the vinegar. All of them were top-notch. They did good work, so... Uh, great job to you guys. Uh, we're giving a score of 49 to 50. Remember, the only way you can get 50 out of 50 is if we go back and it's just as amazing the next time we give you that extra point. Congratulations. We'll see you on the next Jack on the Go. Take care.